Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to use SAP GUI script and Excel macros, that is Visual Basic for Applications, in short VBA. This can be very useful if you regularly evaluate data from the SAP system and want to process, process it in an Excel. So, we will start by recording a simple routine. Then we click on the icon Customize local, local Layout. And we see here the, the entry Script Recording and Playback. But this entry is grayed out, so we have to change a parameter. And for this we open the transaction RZ11. And here we type the parameter SAP GUI slash user underscore scripting, click on display and here we see the current value is false and we change the value from false to true. Then we save the change and after that we have to close the window and we have to reconnect to the SAP system. Now we click on the icon again and now we see we can use the entry script recording and playback. So I click on it and we see here a little action window where we can record, record and playback scripts. And today I want to export data from the table as flight and save as an Excel. So I click on record script. Then I open the transaction SE16, type the table name as flight. Then I'm do some entries LH for the care ID and flight date, for example. Then I click on execute. So this is my result set, and I want to export this to a spreadsheet. Then I type in my type in my directory and the name of the file. So I call it export underscore s flight and click here and generate. And then we we can stop the script, but you see here on the bottom that the script is running on this icon and now we click on stop. So now we have recorded a script and we see here the where the script is saved. So I open this folder now and we see here the exported data and the generated script. So I delete this exported Excel because I want to check the script again. But first have, we have a look at this script and this is the generated code some header information and uh, we see the clicked buttons and the past data and so on. And now let's double click on the generated script. And then we see that the export is automatically. Okay, this is a message that the script is attempting to access the SAP GUI. Click on OK. And then we see the steps which are defined in the script. 
and we see the script is working. We have some data here and we have a created Excel file. So I delete this file again and I open a new Excel and first I save the new Excel file as a macro Excel file in this folder. So I choose here Excel macro enabled workbook, click on save and then I click on the developer menu. If you don't have the developer entry here, click on options, then on customize ribbon and here we see the developer checkbox. So check this and click on OK. So let's click on the developer entry, then on macros and here we create a macro name. So I call it S flight. Then I click on create and in this sub we paste the code of the generated script. So we copy the whole script and we paste it here. So This is the generated script and now we do some changes. We delete the, the if, the if and and if code lines because we don't need this here. And we delete this as well. And after that, we uh, define some objects with dim SAP GUI auto application connection and session as object. So we created some objects here, and this is case sensitive. Okay, so let's um, open the Excel again and now we can insert a button where we can uh, start the Excel macro. Here we pick a macro called S flight and then we can change the button name to export S flight for example or S flight export and if we click on this button We get the same message that the script is attempting to access the SAP GUI. We click on OK and then all the steps are processed in the background. And we see here the, the Excel is exported. And we see here the exported records. OK. So let's go back to the uh, macro and we see here some uh, the, the past data like the care ID, LH and so on and we can use here uh, variables so let's define a variable name with dim care ID as string and this care ID we the, the the name of the variable care ID we type this here and we can also um, change the name of the export file 
for example, we can add some information about the date. There are also available functions. For example, year. Now, then we can add the function month. Now, so the current year and month. And last, we can add the current day. And after the date, we concatenate the string, the name of the file. So let's test the script and let's check the new file name. So I click on the button, click on OK, and then we see the background steps processed in SAP. And then we see here in the Windows Explorer the new file name, date, and the name. Okay, and next we can pass the variable data with an Excel file, with an Excel cell, in an Excel cell. For this, I read the value of the Excel cell. So I write here, care ID is Active workbook. Dot active sheet. Dot range. And then I pick a Excel cell, for example, A1. And I type dot value. So from this cell, I read the value. So before we delete this Excel, then I go to the my Excel, and then I type here uh, in this cell the care ID I want to export. For example, AA for American Airlines. And I click on S flight export. Then we wait some seconds. And then we have the export with the care ID AA. So let's check this with another value with uh, LH for Lufthansa. Click on export. And here we see the exported LH records of the table S flight. Next, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. I would appreciate it. Thank you and see you.